Well, that's not cool right there. Snow and a little breeze and rain and rain, just a cold day. Uh, I did brave the elements today, though. I went with probably seven or eight, I guess. I want to go with Lonely Lakewood. He was good. Uh, I was happy with him. He'll probably train again on Wednesday. I only went a mile 25 or 30 with him. I want to get a feel for him today. See how he's hung up. Take a look and see what he's doing on the track. Um, I wasn't disappointed in Lonely Lakewood. I'm never disappointed in Lonely Lakewood. Um, I went with Speed of Sound. I went with... Uh, who did I go with over here? Delicious Stone was good. We've been jogging him, keeping him up until we get that uh, treatment for his leg on the 25th. So he jogged good. Uh, very encouraged by that. Uh, who else did I go with over here? One of a bunch of babies. I went with uh, She Sits at the Bar. She was good. Anyway, everybody I went with today I was happy with. Um, surprised how big speed of sound is she is gigantic now she's supposed to train tomorrow we put the hobbles on her i felt her a little rickety now sometimes when you put the hobbles on them they, they it does change the gait a little bit so you have to adjust um maybe gonna take the boots off her behind uh put a set of bell boots back on her up front put a head pole on the inside see how she trots tomorrow i can't remember who was supposed to go with her i guess i could look easily enough um, here it is here. She was in set. Speed of sound was... I am. Anthony is going with speed of sound. I'll talk with him t tomorrow about, uh, about the Philly and how she's been going. So today, a lot of you guys watching the sale, I will say this. I didn't know how it would play out, right? Um, especially with Locatelli. Because you don't know, and the market seems hot, especially when you get a, a a bit of a skunk at a tea party. When you're selling all these horses that are okay, and then you drop a horse like Locatelli into the market, um, you never know how the water's going to displace, right? Does it? Are people going to be sheepish, thinking there's something wrong with them? Or are they going to be aggressive in bidding on them? I can tell you right now, it is 104. He is, uh, what time is he supposed to sell? Locatelli. He is almost three hours from selling, and that's a live bid right there at 80,000 on him. So he's likely gonna bring uh, quite a bit more, I would imagine. But 80,000 was our number that we were protecting Locatelli to. I just couldn't sell White Tiger for 70 and not and not expect to get a little bit more for Locatelli. He is a better horse and he's younger. So um, I guess happy in that regard. I know, I think a lot of my partners understand what I'm trying to say when it comes to Locatelli, when it comes to the classes. We're trying to play a game where the board keeps changing. And uh, we're trying to stay ahead of it as best we can. So when it comes to uh, Locatelli, I think it is the right move, especially considering how well he's done for us. Um, but worth noting and mentioning that he is not the only Locatelli out there. There will be more. Hopefully we have more in the burn. Now when it comes to the other horses, um, there were no reserves on anybody. Baby Zet, 42.5 so far with two hours left. We paid 10 for as a baby. Uh, Eve St. Kemp's at six with two hours and a bit left. The only horse not to get a bid yet was Electric Line. I'm a, I'm a little surprised, to be honest. When you look at the... I understand he's a mediocre horse. The other horses are outside of Locatelli for the most part. But here's a horse that paced 56 and a piece two or three starts ago. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that nobody has jumped in on this guy. Um... I'm sure they will. I mean, usually most of the action happens the last five or ten minutes of the sale anyway. So I think I've been a bit spoiled watching, you know, not spoiled. It's not like they've been going for a fortune. But I've been watching uh, the other horses get bids, and I'm saying, how can how can Electric Line be the only one not to? But uh, International Spy, again, 42. He'll go up. The only horse I'll be watching very closely is O Snap You. Here's a filly that actually is pretty decent right now right when you look at international spy down the road he might be okay uh seasons of love down the road might be okay tomorrow the next day oh snap you is going to be okay so i i don't know if 65 is going to cut it i would think we would have to get 10 11 12 000 for her um i haven't really talked much about reserves on any of the horses because we didn't need any of them but oh snap you i i think 65 is just going to be far too little for us to uh, accept for her, but all the other horses, these are all live bids, and they will be moving on regardless of what they bring. So, uh, the sale is what I would say a little anticlimactic so far. I just thought I'd be chewing my nails right now, wondering who's selling and 
what they bring and what they go for. But I think most of the stage has been set already, just waiting for some bids to come in on electric line and watching O snap you quite closely. So um, that's what's up for today. Now tonight, we have horses racing tonight. Of course, we have horses racing tonight. And I will be able to find them right here. Picked right. Uh, Renegade Gypsy at 4 p.m. He's going behind the gate. Uh, must be in a good spot. He is five to two. Picked win, I assume. All gas, no brakes. This is a little bit of a little bit of a frustration for me. He ended up drawing the outside. Uh, there will be a driver change in all all gas, no brakes. And before you read too much into that, I don't have a problem with Louis or any of those guys. They're all professional and they all do a good job. But Louis has made it clear that he was not happy that he would drive a horse and then James would end up driving the horse. And I told him, I'm I'm unapologetic. It, this isn't even sorry, not sorry. This is, I am unapologetic for listing my brother, who is the leading driver in Canada the last three years on our horses. One, it falls squarely under blood is thicker than water. And two, anytime you can get James McDonald, you're going to want to get James McDonald. And that's not just Anthony McDonald saying that. that that's most trainers saying that. Um, so Louie was a little miffed over that, and, and I left it up to Dominic to square that and say, listen, you're driving a long shot. You likely won't be listed on the horse next week. Uh, do you not want to drive the horse? And his answer was, no, I don't. So, and, and again, d read into that what you want. Uh, I, I certainly have no ill will or ill feelings towards Louis Philippe Bois, world-class driver and a great guy, but uh, he won't be driving all gas, no brakes tonight. I'm not sure at this moment who will. Yo, Mister is in there with James driving him. Uh, nine to two from the inside, and if his memory is as short as Stacy says it is, he'll likely be very tough in that race tonight. And although Locatelli is our horse right now, at four o'clock he will not be. So whoever owns Locatelli at four o'clock will be racing him. Blanton's Blue um, will be racing on Wednesday. I trained him this morning. He has an all strong as palate, but I think more of a, an annoyance and a hindrance. I don't see any issues. Uh, I don't see any issues at all when it comes to um, Blanton's Blue. He actually trained very good today, and I think he's in a very good spot on Wednesday. I think Tim had said, pull the shoes, got in. Uh, we're looking at a, a good crew, a good crew for Thursday uh, and Friday. Oh, it just dawned on me. I'm not going to be here to drive the horses on Friday. Ooh, that's not cool. That's not good at all. Well, I have to figure that out. Um, yeah, I just thought of that. We have, uh, I do want to race um, Greatest Ending, Three-Legged, Patrick the Piranha, Unbeatable Kemp on Friday, and Ollie has baseball practice. Our first real problem will be what I'm going to do and how I'm going to fix this on Friday. Uh, well, I'm going to figure something out. Anyway, um... That's what's gone on so far today. We have all the babies, two-year-olds trained tomorrow here. Danny told me they all trained well on Saturday. They'll be going back Wednesday in Ontario, Tuesday in Ohio, back Friday morning in Ohio, and then we are gone home. <laughs> Supposed to be gone home on uh, on Friday afternoon. Saturday, the racehorses and the three-year-olds all train here as well. Try and figure a way around that. Anyway, I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you guys had a good day. Uh, if you're in Ohio, we're near northern Ohio, you're not having a good day. It looks a lot like if you're uh, anywhere else where there's not snow and there is sun, good for you. Soak it all up because it's cold here today. Take care.